just have to keep checking the calendar that it really yeah. is October. It feels like summer still. I, I feel like we're really lucky now, which means we're probably going to have like 20 inches of snow in Portland. Mm. In no, a don't go months. there oh. just yet, though. My no? goodness. Break okay. us in slowly. I mean, <laughs> we know you're probably <laughs> right, but let's just let's save our October for now. It's just wishful thinking. Just <laughs> wishful thinking. I, I love a good snowfall. Not for anybody who has to drive in it. Driving in it is not fun, but watching it fall is kind of cool. All right, uh, enough about snow. Not even close to it. It's 82 right now in Vancouver, and we have hazy skies out there. A little bit of wildfire smoke in the mix. I'll give you an update on your air quality conditions here in just a moment. So we go from 82 to almost, almost 30 degrees cooler at the coast right now. Seaside just 55 under cloudy skies. And that will continue to be the cool place for the next several days is right there at the beach. Stoller Winery, ah, 76 right there at the tire swing. It feels so nice if you're out there next to the vineyards on a tire swing. Let's talk about the first week of October and compare it to last year just for fun. Well, it was this time last year we had already seen our last 70 degree day for a daytime high. That was on October 2nd. And on this day last year, our temperature was 69 degrees, not 82. Well, what's in the forecast for us this week is a couple of days in the mid to upper 70s and then right back to the low 80s for us. So it looks dramatically different compared to last year, certainly uh, about a yeah, we're talking about a good 20 degree difference there from this year to last year. OK, here's your planner for tomorrow. Some of you may run into some patchy fog. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s. Otherwise, just a few clouds kind of lingering until about 10 o'clock. And then by the time we hit your noon hour, lunchtime outside looks pretty good. Partly cloudy, about 66 to 67. And then we'll slowly warm up for the afternoon, mid 70s. But it will certainly be cooler compared to what we had today. What about your planner for those overnight hours into the early morning? Well, if you're someone who likes to see where you're going in the morning, just be aware you might run into some areas of fog where you're looking at about a less than a mile or about a quarter mile visibility only for a couple hours in the morning. And then we'll start to see some better conditions as we get past your nine o'clock hour. OK, air quality right now is in the moderate category for Portland. You can see surrounding areas. We're starting to get a, a big improvement in our air quality now in the good category. And of course, areas where we're still dealing with an air quality advisory that's been ongoing right around Oak Ridge, the Cedar Creek fire right there out towards Eugene. You're in the unhealthy for sensitive groups category. So when is it going to change? Do we have any rain on the way? Well, we're not seeing it at all. In fact, it's this ridge of high pressure that continues for us and really isn't going anywhere. This takes us into Thursday. What about after Thursday? We get to Friday and Saturday and you can see the ridge is still there. We have a nice trough of low pressure right here over the Pacific, dropping in some nice cool air from the Gulf of Alaska, but that's not going to make its way into our neighborhood because we have this big old ridge of high pressure blocking it. OK, drought conditions, not any better. Certainly uh, we get our updates every Thursday. So abnormally dry category accounts for uh, now more than 99% of Oregon. You only have a sliver not included there in the drought category, and that's far southwestern Oregon, right there at the coast, everywhere else. We're seeing either things unchanged or getting a little bit worse. OK, what about the first freezing temperature of the season? When do we see it on average? Not until the middle of November do we get down to 32 degrees for a low temperature, but the earliest we've ever seen it, that was October 8th of 1985. OK, let's talk about your seven day forecast. Here we go right back to the 80s as we get to Thursday and Friday, Saturday into Sunday. Now we're warming up to the mid 80s and continuing with the dry, abnormally warm weather all the way through Monday of next week. Coin 6 News, we'll be right back.